Hi, this is Mrs. Lucas, Cheston and March Elementary Art Teacher. Today I'll be talking to you about color and art. Let's check out the color wheel. The color wheel shows relationships between colors. And artists often use the color wheel to help understand how colors relate to one another. The warm and the cool colors. We think of the warm colors as red, orange, and yellow, and they remind us of things that are warm like the sun and fire. Cool colors are violet, blue, and green, and these colors remind us of things that are cool like water and grass. Let's look at the primary colors. They can't be created by mixing any other colors. You need to have these colors from the beginning but you can mix the primary colors together to make secondary colors and a lot of other colors. Primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. You can mix red and yellow together and you'll get orange. If you mix yellow and blue together, you'll get green. And if you mix red and blue together, it'll make purple. Roy G. Bibb, this is a great way to remember the colors of the rainbow. R stands for red, O stands for orange, Y stands for yellow, G stands for green, B represents blue, I is indigo, and V is violet. Colors and emotions. A lot of times we look at colors and we have a feeling that comes from that color. For instance, blue can represent sad, and calm. Green can represent success and serenity. Purple is creative and relaxed. Red depicts anger and love. Orange gives us the feeling of energy and attention and yellow gives us a happy and a warm feeling. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Hall from Paxinosa. This week our lesson is about color and I chose the Found Objects project. I found some objects around my house to create a rainbow. I used a red spool of thread, an orange spool of thread, a yellow chapstick, a green spool of thread, a blue icing lid, and a purple button. That's how I made my rainbow. I also found some objects to create the color wheel. A red pencil sharpener, an orange button, a yellow crayon, a green button, a blue marker lid, and a purple crayon. I hope you had fun finding objects around your house to create the rainbow and the color wheel. Remember to share on Seesaw and Google Classroom. Have a great day. Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Frobase here with Primary Color Fashion Design. For this project, you can choose any materials that you can find using the primary colors, which would be red, yellow, and blue. So grab your supplies and decide what kind of fashion object you would like to make. I decided to make this paper hat sculpture using a paper plate to start, some string, papers, yarn, pipe cleaners, anything I could find around the house, cut and tape and paste all together. prefer to draw a design so I also decide to draw the perfect shoe to complete my primary colored outfit. Have fun guys! Hi everyone it's Mrs. Woodland the art teacher from Tracy Elementary. I hope you're having a great day and that you're ready to make some art. This week our theme is color. I chose to do a drawing of Roy G. Biv using my iPad. Let's take a look. Remember, you can choose any of the activities and you can use whatever supplies you have at home. Don't forget to share your creations on Seesaw or Google Classroom. I can't wait to see what you make. 
Hi everyone, it's Mrs. Joseph, the art teacher from Shawnee Elementary School. I hope you're doing well today and are ready to make some art. I chose to create some art using only warm colors or cool colors. Check out what I've made with a variety of materials from around my house. Don't be afraid to use any materials you might have. Uh-oh, something's missing. I can't wait to see what you've created, so don't forget to share with me on Seesaw or Google Classroom. Hi everyone, Mrs. Rodriguez here, art teacher at Forks and March Elementary Schools. I don't know about you, but I was really excited to find out that I could pick my own art project this week. So from the choice board, I picked the one that talks about using color to express a feeling or a mood. So I decided to think about hopefulness. How would I express hope in art? What color would I pick for that? So I thought a little bit more and I decided to choose the color green. So I looked around for green materials and I found some green markers. Here they are. Then I took a selfie, I printed it out in black and white and added green all the way around to express hopefulness. And my hope was that I could radiate that hopefulness to you your families and the world. But I didn't stop there because I did find other green materials around the house. So guess what I found? I found wool. And with wool, by twisting it and turning it and poking it with a needle on a piece of felt, I created this piece of artwork. It's an abstract landscape. We can call it that, right? I really like it. Do you? All right, so this week, you can pick this activity or any other the art projects that are in your choice board and have fun with it. Just don't be afraid to show your true colors. Wait, that sounds like a song. Is it? It is a song, right? I'll be right back. I see your true colors shining through. I see your true colors. That's why I love you. Don't be afraid to let them show your true colors. True colors are beautiful. Alright, have fun creating lots and lots of art this week. See you soon!